What's going on folks? Welcome back to your Lake Fork guy. We got something Oh, potentially, maybe a little special day. It's certainly going to be fun. My man Jeb is here. Jeb, what's, up? what's going on, brother? You happy to be here? Yes, sir. I'm very happy. So Jeb booked a guide trip with me last, like what? So you said, I think you said September. September yeah. So, the fishing was terrible, Jeb. It was terrible. So what we're doing today? We're doing the makeup for the guide trip. After that day went terrible. We didn't really catch them. I told Jeb, I said, tell you what, man. I do filming days all the time. Why don't you come back out with me for free on a filming day? And we'll go get after some bass. I told him, I said, we may not be on Lake Fork. We're going to go wherever we got to go to catch fish. But, uh, yeah, so we're here. It's filming day. Are you fired up? I'm very excited. There's a lot of grass in this lake. Look at that mat. Yeah. Listen, Jeb, I got to tell you something. If looking at something like that don't make you feel a certain kind of way, you're doing the wrong thing, yeah, bud. Yeah, you're in the wrong sport. You're in the wrong yeah. sport. We got grass. We got clear water. We got a bunch of big bass in this lake. Uh, it's East Texas, so there's going to be big ones here. It's like, it's time to shut up. It's time to shut up and start fishing. Y'all stay tuned. Me and old Jeb, what a what a great name the young man has there with old Jeb there. Man, we're gonna go out on Lake Welsh today, guys. It's summertime. You know, Lake Welsh is a power plant lake. It's a heated water lake. It's got a power plant that cycles water through the plant to cool it down. The water comes out hotter than it goes in. So the water temps are always elevated at these power plant lakes, and it's kind of counterculture to go to these things in the in the summertime. Everybody likes to fish them in the winter because you get that warmer water when all the other lakes are cold. But something that happens in the summertime is these fish group up really well. They get grouped up and they bite pretty good in the summer. And we're not super hot yet. This bite will continue to get better later in the summer we get. Believe it or not, the hotter the water temps get, uh, the better this bite will be. But I anticipate today being a pretty good day. Lake Welsh, I don't know that it's ever let me down in the summertime. It gets almost no pressure at all in the summertime. And the bass's metabolism is as high as it ever gets throughout the year with the water temps being 90 plus right now. Eventually they'll go over 100 on this lake they do every year. Um, and these fish usually produce pretty well. It's got a lot of grass in it, so we could do, we could be offshore fishing, of course. That could be a thing. We're gonna graph a couple spots and see if they're out there. And if they're not out there yet, because it's not quite hot enough for them to be out there yet, this lake is lined with a ton of grass out to anywhere from 10 to 13, 14 foot. There's hydrilla from one end of the lake to the other. Now that can be overwhelming. It can be overwhelming to find fish in that, but we're gonna see if we can find them. If we can't find them offshore, we're gonna go to that grass line, especially that deeper grass line, and probably do some flipping or maybe some swim baiting if they're schooling. So uh, that's traditionally the patterns that work out here in the summer. That's what we're gonna try to do today, and we're gonna go get after them. Mm, no doubt. Big fish. Yeah, big fish. You don't catch that many, but you'll catch big ones. Some big old slobber knockers out there in Caddo. Oh yeah. I can do that. I can't tell when they're in that grass, dude. Yeah. Oh, there you come. Hey, yo, folks, first fish of the day. Now, Jeb didn't catch that, but he grabbed it for me because when I boat flipped it, it came off the hook. So he grabbed it off the carpet for me real quick. Hey, that's not a, uh, Jeb, that's not the worst fish I've ever seen. You know what I mean? Like, that's not a, <laughs> that's a nice one. And I've only started punching for a few minutes. We were throwing swim baits and chatter baits and getting low love. I just started punching. Jeb, you want to learn how to punch today? Yes, sir. Let's learn how to punch today, baby. Oh, there we go, folks. We got another solid one. Jeb! You gotta catch one now. Yep, it's my turn. It's time for you to quit monkeying around, son. Yeah, I'll miss one. It's time to graduate. It's Hey, you know, catching these is fun. You ought to try it sometime. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Number two, Jeb's learning. We've been talking a lot about punching fundamentals, haven't we, Jeb? Yep. The technique to it. Lot. He missed one earlier because he didn't reel on it. Like, you just, one of the big things about punching is 
when you set the hook on them, man, you just got to hold the rod up and reel. And Jeb was kind of trying to, you know, what I call pumping the rod. He was lifting, reeling down to it, lifting, reeling down to it. And he was trying to get that fish to the grass. I know what he's doing. I get it. It's hard. But that's the inappropriate way to do it because every time you reach down to pump that fish, you can't. You run the risk of letting some slack get in the line and uh, you can lose the fish, huh? Yep. Can't you, Jeb? Yeah. Found that out the hard way, huh? Yeah, I did. That's right. We're going to keep flipping, though. Yeah. All day. Hey, we're, we're flipping all day. All these other rods, we can just throw them in the lake. <laughs> we need two. Yeah. That's all we need, baby. <laughs> we punching the day. Oh, God dang it. I think I just pulled it away from one. I still got it. No, I don't. No, I don't. God dang it. I monkeyed that up, dude. I monkeyed that up bad. Hold the jab. Yeah. I jibbed it. I'm going to catch back in there and get him. There you go. Hell yeah, that boy. Bird dog me, son. Bird dog me. Oh, you won't, baby. Yeah, you sure did, too. Real, real, real fast. Real, real fast, Jeb. Keep reeling. Oh, it feels like it. Pull him to your right and just drop him in the bottom of the boat. There you go, Han. Oh, yeah, I couldn't get him. You did. You got him, Jeb. Jeb. Is that your first ever punching fish? Yes, sir. Ever in your fun. in your life's dog in your life's. My life, yeah. Woo! Not a bad one. Good chunk right there, dude. Good job. Nice one. Oh, he's hugging the grass. Oh, he's wadded up in it bad. Uh, little one. I didn't say little one. <laughs> I mean, he's not like tiny, but. Yeah. He's little and I want it. He's smaller and I want him to be, bud. You know what I mean? He has that thing on his gill uh, plate. Yeah. Oh, little boo-boo. Oh, boo -boo. Just gotta keep flipping, dog. They still in there. Last one. That's one big fish. Well, a little bit old skinny thing. Look how look how poor he is. No wonder he's trying to eat that big old swim bait, huh? Live sonar, dude. You saw him hit it? Yeah. There you go, guys. On the glide bait. The glide. The blade glide. Close that door real quick. Get all up here. I got a bunch of stuff with him. Grab that fish for me. He's right there in that grass. Grab it for me, brother. There you go. <laughs> Big head. Another good one right there, folks. That is a solid one. Back to the flipping deal. Pulled back over to the edge of one of the mats and uh, got another punching fish. What do you think, Jeb? I think it's pretty cool. Swim baits or punching? Punching. Punching. He's in on the punching deal, folks. Here we go. Not a bad one right there at all. I'll take it. He kind of left with an attitude, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. What do you think? Man, I think it's just, I don't know what it's mimicking. It's just if they're down there and they're not biting it on first reaction, it's just something else to get them to react. 
No. Atta boy. Real, real. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Atta yeah. boy. Atta boy. I did the hop. <laughs> the hop's the deal. Yeah. The apartments, and then there's a bunch of boat slips. I was fishing these boat slips, and this lady was like, I called, she was like, you aren't allowed to be fishing here. And I said, for the clean. Not bad. We'll take him. We'll show. God, dog, they're angry in this water, dude. This lake. Good now. There you go. Watch yourself. He's going in. Pele. You know what Pele is? What's Pele? Pele is like the world's greatest soccer player ever. Uh, Just Pele his butt back in the water. <laughs> hey, come on with us, huh? Go ahead, Jeb. Keep that reel turning, keep that reel turning, don't pump. Keep the reel turning, swing him, swing him. That a boy. Oh, Jeb, get it down. Now, Jeb, don't throw that one out before you show him to the camera, all right? <laughs> oh, Jeb, getting it figured out now. Yeah, let's see him, baby. Nice. Good job, Mr. Jeb, that's a nice fish. You doing you. it. Hold on, let's make sure the lens is clean. Oh my gosh. These are the wiggling this fish, ain't they? Here, yeah, show it again. I think your camera was kind of smudged up. Look, my man. Lake Cairns, don't call us bluff. Bass, don't call us bluff. He'll get both of y'all. <laughs> Jeb, man, I can't thank you enough, dude. It's a lot of fun. Man, I appreciate you coming out and joining me. Uh, like I said in the beginning, Jeb went on a guide trip with me back in the early fall, late summer. We did not do well. We didn't catch him that day, and so I invited Jeb to come back with me on a film day. It took long enough for us to get the schedule worked out, but hey, we got it worked out. Yeah, it was blast. It was one blast thing, away. one thing about those the filming days, which you probably noticed the difference in the guide trip and this is, on the filming days, like I gotta catch them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, on a guide trip, I'm mostly trying to help y'all catch them. You know, every once in a while I'll fish a little bit, but it's primarily about helping y'all catch them on a guide trip. But on the filming days, I gotta get them. That's just the way it is. I gotta try and make sure we get the best fish on camera that we can, and make sure that we do get enough fish on camera. So it's a little different when you come out with me on a filming day, but it offers some different opportunities to learn and i think you learned some stuff today oh yeah i did i learned a lot of good stuff about filming and punching as well yeah the flipping deal the punching the match you'd never done that before that was your only punching catches in your life right yep. there wasn't it it's gonna well, be more from now on yeah absolutely yeah because i'll tell you what i could tell the difference from when you first started then towards the end like you guys aren't going to see all the footage of him missing fish when, when we first picked up that flipping rod he was having a hard time getting the hook in them. They were, he was hooking them and they were coming off. He wasn't getting the hook in them good. He was feel, wasn't feeling the bite fast enough early enough and wasn't getting the hook set hard enough sometimes. And But at after the end, I, I got him. You had it down, dude. Yeah. You were doing it. You, I could, and I even told you when we were fishing, I'm like, yeah, you got it now, bud. Like, you got it. So, you know, that's always the value. And this wasn't a guide trip per se, but I always tell you the value of a guide trip is not the fish you catch that day. Yeah. It's the things you learn that you catch fish using forever in yeah. perpetuity. And for the rest of your life now, when you see matted vegetation, I'll think of this you're thing. gonna be like, where's that big stick, dog? We're gonna get them. <laughs> Heck yeah, buddy. Well, hey, thank you guys. Thank you once again, brother. Appreciate it. Most importantly, thank all of y'all for watching. As always, we will see you next time right here on your Lake Fort Guide.